Hello guys, in this video I will show you how to set up Trade00 Pro platform. You gonna learn how to set up windows so we can place them anywhere on any monitor, link charts with level 2, add indicators, add market clock, add portfolio, add news block and explore shortlist window. We start by opening trade zero. We should get window like this with the login window. So we go under additional settings to tick all these three boxes. The first one is layout saying saving confirm. It's when you exit the platform and ask you to save the layout. Save password just for password saving so you don't need to type it again. Free floating windows just to put uh, any window anywhere on any monitor anywhere where you want it so we log in you're probably not seeing uh, what I'm seeing you're probably seeing the default window but uh, we're gonna go here on the round button then click open layout uh, open empty layout so we so we can start with from the scratch Okay, I'm gonna place it somewhere here in a corner and let's start. Let's start by adding the level 2 window. Level 2 window you can find here on the top of the or in main menu. So we click level 2. Level 2 gonna show up. I will place it here for now. Let's add charts. Charts you can find here or under the main menu as well. So we press the chart. It's gonna ask for uh, this settings page. Here you can enter any symbol or don't enter anything at all. And push OK. And then you will get just a blank chart. I'm gonna place it. Uh, just right here So now when we have a uh, one chart and one level two, let's link it together Push the right key Right mouse key and Then push link to group We sell a group a and tick this link window box It's here you can see all the linked windows on the group and push ok I need to do the same for charts as well so we go to link to group group A and link window so we can see we got charts and level 2 linked together and push ok let's enter some symbols so we see how it looks like AVX So, so you can see it's loading the chart as well, level 2 on the chart. Little introduction about chart, what each of these mean. So symbol is the chart format, what we had before. Here you can change like the symbol, but it's quick, quicker just to push on the chart and enter the symbol how you want. Here you can change the period as well, intraday and uh, time frames what you can see on top of here. You can put like two minutes or how you how you like it. There's some few settings for grid lines, title bar. Uh, just gonna push OK. Here is the indicators. We're gonna come back to them later. And here you have time frames. So daily is a daily time frame. You can zoom in and zoom out by pressing these buttons. Here you can put a line, a line on the chart. Like for example, you want to mark out some resistance line or something. And you just put it and take it off by remove. I select it. 
select the line and uh, remove selected driving object, object. Here the next one is a crosshair, so you can see like more details about the, each candle. You can open the crosshair by double clicking on the chart as well. Okay, now we can talk about adding indicators. The indicators usually I'm using is uh, VWAP. You can add it here by uh, pressing the add indicator button. We're gonna add volume. And we're gonna add two of moving averages. So on the right side here we got the added added indicators. Let's start with volume. We're gonna leave it as it is, no changing. Weave up. You can change the periods or change the color. I'm gonna leave it on uh, color red so it's better not noticeable. Moving average one. So this is gonna be for period nine and I'm gonna put blue color for it the moving average 2 I'm gonna be for our daily charts and it's gonna be 200 and we press oh uh, no we change the color as well uh, daily uh, for daily chart it's gonna be 200 white and press ok you can add some more indicators how you like and which ones do you like to use it's up to you but I, I, it's enough for me with these four and then we press ok ok let's set up two more level twos and two more charts for this window so let's start by taking level 2 and adding one more chart let's link them together link to group here we're gonna choose link to group B and link window press ok on the chart the same link to group group B and link window ok now we can enter something like Tesla and here we see chart for Tesla uh, let's set up indicators for this one as well I'm gonna do the same again. So we add weave up, volume, and moving average. Moving average one gonna be for nine. It's for one or two minute chart. Color blue. Moving average two gonna be two hundred. It's for daily chart usage and we pick the white color. So this is what we have now. On the charts, if you got like one, more than one monitor, you can set it up how you like. You even can set it up like for, you can put uh, here daily chart. Here you could put like 15 minute chart. I'll show you quickly how it could look like. Put daily chart here. Here you put uh, five or 15 minute. 
chart at the bottom you place the one minute chart for example they are are linked all on one like all linked for a uh, and then we add here level 2 window at the bottom and then you can see a bigger picture and then you can see you push here like one minute here it would be Let's take a Tesla as well Tesla one minute here we go Tesla uh, Tesla daily and here we would have Tesla 15 minute depends on you how you like it better now let's add a market clock a market clock is quite necessary if you trade I I just can't trade without it I need to see the clock all the time so we push the main menu and it's you can found it under the system menu we got something like this now and then we just minimize it so we just see the clock and we put just somewhere here or how you like it next we're gonna add portfolio main portfolio so you can see So you can see all your orders, you can cancel them here, you can see all your closed positions and uh, information about your account, your buying power and everything. Next we gonna add news block, you can find it here or just go under main menu and push news. And here we're gonna have news block. This news block is showing uh, news from the Benzinga. When you double click it, it straight away shows the news from Benzinga. So you can read it here. Next, if you would like, you can add uh, top list window or watch list, what you need. Here you can add the watch list and so you can add any symbol like Tesla, AWX. You can uh, link this one to link to group as well. A group group A link window. Okay, and now when you push the ticker, your chart loads as well. Here is not a lot of space left in this monitor, so it's better to place something in, in the second monitor if you can or you can just add something like top list to window I don't like these top list windows better to use some some windows from scanners from trade idea scanners or if you have the TC2000 charts or something New York Stock Exchange is separate Nasdaq U is separate Amex is separate they should be all together then it would be much more easier if you put like Nasdaq your percent change up you're gonna see all the gap ups all the biggest gainers and one more important thing is a shortlist window it's 
where you can find shares to short. You just write in the symbol necessary, how many shares you want to borrow, and push the locate symbol. That's about it, Trade Zero platform. I got one more video about how to set up hotkeys for Trade Zero, and you can have a look again in my website. I got uh, more like in depth, depth how to set up Trade Zero platform. So thank you very much for watching. Comment if you have any questions. Like and share. Thank you.